Living in Central Texas has many benefits, but it also means living in what's called Flash Flood Alley. Today, students at Austin Community College presented research that they did on living in one of the most flood-prone areas of the country. KXAN's Eric Hendrickson explores what makes this group of citizen scientists different than most and why their findings may have you thinking twice before jumping into Barton Creek. From fashion majors, we spent a long time recruiting in a lot of other departments, to computer designers, their perspectives are going to be different from ours. The students at ACC's Citizen Science Undergraduate Research Experience are taking a unique look at Flash Flood Alley. This is a citizen science program. You really want to draw from a diverse group of students. Casey Vasquez del Mercado and Catherine Corley are two of the 11 students selected for the program funded by the National Science Foundation. So our research focused on the a correlation between rainfall as well as certain water quality parameters in the Barton Springs and Barton Pool area. Her team took samples from Barton Creek, then used data collected by the U.S. Geological Survey over the past five years. We saw a very um, direct correlation with rainfall and E. coli. Basically, any time a flooding event occurred, Barton Creek and Barton Springs Pool saw an E. coli population explosion. This bacteria can be dangerous if swallowed or it gets into a cut. I mean, they won't have Barton Springs Pool open anyways, but you know, people still like to go to the free side, and I think that's maybe not the best decision. Their project was one of three that was presented. The majority of people said, I don't need flood insurance. One studied flood awareness near 100-year floodplains around Walnut and Shoal Creeks. They found that nearly 70% of the people they surveyed had no idea the area was a 100-year floodplain. Another looked at the impact of race and income. They found that 75% of households near Austin's most flood-prone roads were considered low to medium income, and about half of those households were people of color. They have raised the bar for any sort of work students here can do in our department. It is so impressive. Professor Leslie Davis says ACC is one of the few two-year colleges to receive the funding. To have this sort of program for two-year community college students is very unusual. Unusual funding for some unusual scientists. In North Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.